Atención, mi. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a pink and blue ombre with these two colors. Um, pickled pink and make it rain in the color blend collection by Glam and Glitz. You guys know Glam and Glitz is my fave right now. Um, I decided to do some shorter nails. As you guys can see, I've already prepped my hand. Um, I'm doing shorter nails because number one, I feel like I don't do a lot of short nails. And then, um, number two, I, um, I want to, uh, I don't want to be doing this all day. So I figured shorter nails would probably not take me as long, hopefully. And so hopefully this video won't be, uh, very long so I'm just mixing the acrylic all together that way we don't get any inconsistent marbly type stuff because again I am going to be doing an ombre I'm trying to practice my ombres right now and I was just wanted to do like two different colors and I looked up blue and pink together and all the pictures I saw looked really, really good. So I just want to try that today, see if I can pull that off. And once again, I already prepped my hand, so we can kind of just jump right into things. I'm using my um, Young Nails monomer. Just so you guys know. And I try not to use uh, too much of it as, at a time. I probably poured a little too much, but hopefully not. And so I'm just gonna wet my brush, let it soften a little bit. Make sure that it's gonna be molding everything correctly. There's no like crazy stiffness in it. I'm just gonna be wiping it off a little bit. I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see everything. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the pinky and I'm gonna be doing pink at the base. Basically, I just put it at the cuticle and waited for it to dry a little bit and drug it down. And then I'm just going to be adding another one just to really build the apex and the color. And once again, just lightly dragging the ends of it down.
like to try to do my lighter colors first that way it doesn't affect my monomer too much and then go back and do the darker ones i know that the blue might look lighter but i've actually swatched it before and it's not it's actually a little bit darker than it looks in the uh, container as most acrylics are I'm just very, very gently brushing this down. Just tapping the sides to make sure that it keeps its shape so I don't have to file too much. Once again, just placing it at the cuticle, letting it set for a second. And lightly dragging down the ends of it to give it that faded effect. the sides to make sure that the nail keeps its shape. And then placing another bead right on top and repeating the exact same thing. Placing my apex bead, I like to let it sit a little bit longer because we do want that thickness to kind of stay where the apex is. In whatever way you want your acrylic to flow, just hold the finger that way and gravity will help pull it. a little bit drier bead on top let it dry a little bit more give you that nice apex Just let that dry a little bit. And you might have to use 
use more beads on your thumbnail. I typically do just because you can't really pick up that big of a bead. put one more apex ball in there just to make sure that it's thick enough. Since this is the end, I'm going to be picking up much smaller beads, I think.
think I'm happy with how that looks. Not bad. Try another one.
And if I'm doing something wrong or you guys have tips that like make this easier, can you guys like let me know in the comments? I am open for constructive criticism. I am still in school, so um I am still learning, so please don't be like really super mean because I do read you guys comments and some of y'all are really mean like someone commented on one of my videos and said I had a weird face and that's just not nice and I literally came to YouTube because um just where I'm from it's like a small town if anyone's ever lived in a small town that's watching this then you know how that is and everyone's just always like talking shit about me and spreading rumors that weren't true and everything so I moved away from my hometown I'm not like out of state um I'm just an hour away but I moved to the city and started my YouTube. I have not posted it on any of my social media whatsoever. And, um, yeah, just for the sheer fact of I didn't want people making fun of me anymore. Yet, there's still, like, I knew when I came on here that there was going to be people that, uh, obviously wouldn't like me. And I told myself that I would be okay with it because... You can't always make everyone happy, but for someone to just comment off the blue and say I have a weird face, I just feel like that is so mean. And I don't know why someone would do that. I'm just trying to level up my life and be the best that I can be. And I'm really not the type to, like, get on here and cry about what people say to me. Like, I'd be watching celebrities sometimes. Like, no offense to her, because I like her, but, like, a Nikki the Dragon, making her whole video, like, crying. Like, oh, this person said this about me, and that person said that. Like... I get it, but you should have known. When you become famous like that, you are reaching a way, way, way bigger audience. So, like, obviously, you are going to come across people who do not like you. It's just the odds of everything. Like, you can't... With as many people as you're reaching, you can't please everyone. And that's just how it is. Like... That's never going to change because every single person's different. So their beliefs are different. What they like is different. What they think is right is different. Everything about everyone is different from one another. So I really try not to dwell on it. I let it hurt my feelings for like five seconds and then I usually move on. I'm like, oh, whatever. Like they're probably just a loser. <laughs> And they may not even be. That's just me with my pride in the way, thinking that I'm great. And for someone to say that I'm not, it, like, hurts my feelings. But that's human. So. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to rant about that for a second. Here that I had literally just enough monomer. I did so good. Yay. And 
Pushing pictures. So these really does not look bad on camera, but in person it does. <laughs> okay, now someone told me when you encapsulate them in the clear, it also makes them look better. All right, and again, those colors were Make It Rain and Chickle Pink. So now I'm going to while that finishes drying, I'm going to break out my monomer container. And then I'm going to replace my towel and pour just a tad bit more liquid in there so that I can clear coat this. Alright, and we are back. So now I'm just going to be putting a clear layer over these so that I can um, file and not have to worry about messing them up while I'm filing. I'm just horrible about like smacking the other fingers while I'm while they're still wet today. Like, I don't know what's going on with me. Um, I do see a little bit of pink right here, so I'm just gonna try to like lightly get that off. I don't know why, but like doing a mannequin hand is so much harder for me. Like when I do people, I just, I feel like my nails come out great. I don't feel like I require that much filing, depending on the set, but I don't know. Every time I do a mannequin hand, like they just like end up needing so much filing, I feel like. for me which is weird because people always tell me like when you work on a natural person it's so much harder and blah 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 like it definitely takes longer because of all the 
uh, prepping that you have to do, but as far as it like being harder, I actually find it easier, so I don't know what they be talking about, but uh, for me, it's easier. The stone is kind of looking a mess where I hit it, but oh well, hopefully this clear will save it. At least you don't really see the thumb in pictures, so maybe I can still get some uh, good pictures of these. Now they are all clear coated and ready to be filed once they are dry. And I did have a little bit of uh, acrylic liquid left over, but it'll be okay. All right, so I'm gonna let these dry and then come back to them in about 10 minutes and start filing and see what we can do with these bad boys. All right, and so these guys are pretty dry. I did shape up the edges just a little bit. As you can see, I messed up the clear coat a little bit. Um, this one was fine, but the rest of them were still a little wet. So we are going to have to buff that off. But I'm just going in with my 100-100 grit file. And I'm going to first smooth out the edges. Make sure that they're nice and straight. All of them. This is literally only like my third time trying ombre. 
So the first time it was not very good. Um, second time was my nails right here, which they look kind of dirty now. I need to actually redo them, but that was my second time. And then this is now my third time, but this method has um, worked out pretty well for me, actually. Um, the more I do it, the better it seems to turn out, as with everything else, usually. So... Now I'm just going to go over the top and just kind of try to make everything even. And smooth like. And this is why you want to put the clear coat on so that way you're not um, taking off any of the thickness of the nail and um, when you're filing. Because we do not want that. We just want a very smooth As you can see, I'm not pressing my file down very hard. I'm just holding it with three little fingers very lightly and just running it across and letting the grit do its job. I'm trying not to file the same spot over and over without moving your file around a bit because then you can tend to file that spot and we do not want that. And if you were doing this one in person you want to make sure that you're sealing their cuticles really good.
have it. This is what they're looking like. Now, if you decide you want to add um, designs or gems, now's the time. But if not, you can definitely go ahead and clear coat these guys. I think I'm gonna add a few gems just so that I can take pictures and add these to my page. And I will show you guys what that looks like when I'm done and clear coat it and we will be good.
guys. This is the final look. And this is what they're looking like. Very, very pretty. I am very happy with how they came out and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give my channel a like, a comment, and a subscribe, please. Um, yeah, I'm going to insert some pictures that I'm going to post on my page and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.